today I'm gonna show you the drop of one of my track the track it has a lot of jungle terror elements and the, but the track itself has more like Arabic vibe so I'm gonna play the drop and then we can see the old details and all plugins I have on each channel This is the trap and first we're gonna start with the kick so basically I just took a kick and place it in the way I like it And after kick I have a bass line actually I made this bass line from Nexus 2 I think but I'm not sure because I bounced it after because it was taking a lot of CPU so I had to bounce it in order to my to have my logic work without any lagging or anything like this so this is the bass line So basically the bass line has exactly the same notes as a drop melody, which I will show you later. And on the bass line, I actually side chain it because otherwise it would interrupt with the kick. So you can hear the side chain, it's actually has different effect on it. And with the kick is, check with the really good tool the way the baseline and the kick work together so this is the baseline you can see the wave on it because of the side chain you can see the first first actually notes are empty it's a space for my kick if I play the kick you can see the kick hits exactly the same spot make it baseline and the kick work together pretty good. Without the side chain, you may not like it's not. A, it seems like it's not a big deal, but it's it's gonna it's gonna affect my my kick and the, on the on the big system you, you're gonna hear that the bass line and the kick actually interrupt each other, and we don't want to have it on the dance floor for sure. So. The way I did it, I basically create a ghost kick. It's just the end, like doesn't matter any kind of sound you place, and then you go to the bass line and you put the compressor in the center of the bass, and basically it creates the effect. Whatever the ghost kick actually exactly hits exactly the same time as my kick, and you can see. This is my kick and this is the ghost kick which tells the compressor when to take away this exactly this part so this is the kick and the bass work really well together so the next thing is uh, it's a um, this this lead comes from uh, Spire plugin. I will show you later. And uh, so basically, I bounce that uh, lead also. 
again to save my CPU and right now it has some some space designer it's a reverb plugin this this is plugin actually is just for automation which I'm not sh I'm not gonna show you in, in this video I just want to show you the job and some mixing process again here I have a same same exactly the same thing as in the baseline basically the ghost side chain and it just creates this space for the kick I have a R compressor. Basically, it's just compress the sound. And this is the top lead. This lead also comes from Spire plugin. And it has, I actually it had a lot of plugins bef before I bounced, bounced it. It had a lot of reverb and some distortion. And after that, I also applied again some, some space designer, really a little bit some some EQ. Just took away the ba the low frequency. And again, I had the sidechain plugin. I actually, I don't use this system. Usually, I use just a sidechain plugin, but just because the kick is not hitting like usually, like just four, four bars, it hits. It hits in a different bar, so I had to do this. I had to side chain this way. So yes, uh, after after the lead, actually I'm gonna show you the way I made the lead. If I open, I press the H. H it's a where I hide the track. I don't use it, but I don't want to delete them. I just hide them. So I press H, and you can see some tracks that I so yeah this is the main main lead actually notes I'll show you this is the notes I I create the melody with actually my Spire plugin is not working right now because I recently updated it and I, I installed the new version I'm gonna open for you guys So yeah, this is the Spire plugin. I got I don't remember exactly what uh, what sound I use to create this lead, but I, I can load any kind of sound so we can see. Right now there's a lot of reverb. So yeah, you can see that that's how I made. Actually, the uh, I the the most like important plugin I think on this lead is this one. It's Camel Crusher. It's a distortion plugin. It makes your lead like strong and a bit aggressive. If you you can hear that much different because this is a this is lead is already aggressive enough, but if I would put the lead I actually use in the track, you will he'll hear the big difference. So yeah, this is the melody. I'm gonna hide it again. 
I don't want to have it in my track if I don't use it. So the next thing I have uh, just a drum snare that which support the melody and all drums in the track. I don't know if you hear this. So yeah, it just repeats here. And after that snare, I have some drums. It's two bars drums. I again, I found the loop I like. I cut it sounds I like, and I, I place them in the right places. So what I have in this loop is a EQ, it's a logic standard EQ, I just cut the low low frequency again, I don't want any low frequency to interrupt with my bass and kick. After that I have Camel Crusher, here you can, you can really hear the difference. Without and with the plugin, the plugin makes it feel not only louder but more like present this uh, this loop in the track. Then I have a just a limiter. Then again a cue. After I actually came out crusher, I always have an additional EQ because it creates some low frequency and after that I have another EQ again cut the low frequency some, some high frequency that I didn't want to have it in the track so yeah this is the basic basically all the elements, main elements in the drop. So in the drop here I have a... Before the drop I have this vocal. I'm gonna... Turn off all the plugins I have. So you can see different, the difference. So the, my, my, this track is actually in the G note. So whatever I have in my track, all elements, even drums here, I always try to keep it in the G note. If I play even these small drums, I actually shift the pitch down to the G note. And this is the tool tuner. It's a logic standard plugin. You can check what the sound, the note of the sound is. Actually, it's a little weird. It's it's G note sometimes. So I don't know why it says A, but eventually it shows you that this is G note. So yeah, push it down to the G note. If I turn off the to uh, pitch. This is the original sound. It's actually it's actually sound not bad for 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 this track, but I usually try to keep it everything in one note. So yeah, that's what I did with this vocal. Actually, this vocal is a. A, a, a note I think so yeah I push it down to the G note if you see on your keyboard on your notes uh, on my keyboard I can see the notes I can see the A and my G note it's two notes down so I just put two notes here down and that's, that's how I get to my G note otherwise it wouldn't be it wouldn't sound sound good with my track. You see, it's 
see it's kind of like it's a different notes so yeah that's first thing we do we actually make sure our drop and build all in the same note so I have some overdrive to make more like this the vocal more more present in the track again more overdrive then I have some side chain this is a uh, not side chain this is actually Q I just uh, found the the sound I like and I push it up a little bit again just to make this vocal be more presented in the track so this is how I made the vocal and to support my vocal I have these drums so I basically it's just feel or maybe a part of the loop I took I don't even remember now so together with the with the vocal it feels well and after that I have a this uh, noise effect which I actually did it myself with the standard logic plugin I could side chaining I put I could put same side chaining I have on my melodies and the bass. It would sound I will show you. For example I could take this side chaining. Is bass three. Now you can see it's kind of like goes with the kick and the wipe my side chain, my old tracks have. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I like with the side chaining more than without. So, oh yes, I have some elements, some jungle terror elements. It's a, of course, it's a animal sound. I think it fits really well with the with the drop. I'm sorry, my guys. It's uh, it's a little bit light logging. So it, here I have some snares again before the second bar, next bar. And here I have another jungle terror animal sound. So I think it's a monkey. Again guys, so here all of them are pitch down or pitch up to get same G note you can see I have a I pitch down two notes again without it's A note so we pitch it out pitch it down to G note and here again I have some overdrive some reverb this is another reverb this is another very reverb and this is a simple simple delay just to make it stereo to make it more interesting and I have a, some low cut again just to leave space for my bass and drums here in this this vocal I have exactly the same thing 
install and here we also have some vocal which I used before the job and in the end of my job I just have this effect just to have a nice transition between my drop and the and the break so guys I'm not gonna show you the the break it's really it's not actually going on here I could show you but I know most of you are interested in the drop so if you guys wanna show whole tracks with the break and intro and some mastering my mastering channel is here I can explain to you you can leave the comments in the video below and or ask me or email me and I will make another video to show you my mastering channel and I would, I would go more with the mixing techniques and show you some break elements so on the second drop I think everything is still the same at first two bars second bar actually my lead goes up in the note if we're gonna take a look at the, again on my melody sound Yeah, so what I did is I just placed up to the 5G, actually it's 4G instead of having in the 3G, just to make it uh, more interesting, otherwise I think it would be boring to hear exactly the same sound for like, I don't know, 30 seconds. I'm gonna hide this track again so yeah and here we have some big changes we actually I changed I changed the kick I just made a kick as usual track I would say just four kicks which I don't know some lagging going on. I think it's because of my hard drive. I keep all my sounds on my hard drive and the hard drive is really bad. So yeah, that's because of the kick change completely. The wipe is changed. So we're gonna see the transition. <laughs> kick everything is still st stays the same but I had to change my ghost kick again to have this side chain effect and now you can hear the, the bass actually plays a, a different game now it's more Four was so yeah that's a good part 
part to have a ghost kick that is really easy to mi mimic the sound of the kick and to make a space for the bass and uh, but I also have some here I have some snare which I also pitch down to one note to have to have it at the G note I have some EQ actually I think I would have some more EQ yeah, just to make sure that I have enough space for for the bass and kick and I have some clubs I also took away the low frequency, a little bit of high frequency, and I have some some uh, arc compressor. Maybe I took way too many, but I don't want to have a club that brings presents itself too much because it's gonna take away attention from the lead and rest of the most important elements like lead and bass so that's why I put this compressor just to take the power away from the club and also to compress it and also have a right nothing special is going on here just take took away again some low frequency a little bit of high frequency and that's it guys that's that's basically it that's all elements i have in my job so that's it guys this is uh, my job for my track Thank you for watching again guys leave the comments below if you're interested to see more of the track my mastering channel and break and subscribe my channel i will have a lot of a lot of good videos to show you guys thank you